Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Bayonetta. Uh, for this chapter, uh, things got a bit weird during recording, and I'll explain that during, you know, when the game is actually playing. But, uh, yeah, we've got a bit of a cutscene to get through first, so, um, got a lot of cover to this chapter, while I'm speaking, so I hope I can get it all in, uh, within a proper time. Why did I leave this loading screen? Oh, yeah. <laughs> to explain myself. That bridge in these heels? I don't suppose I can call a cab to get me to the island. I just want to say right during this part that um the way Bayonetta's running and the way she's filmed reminds me of this part during like a uh, like the 1991 Godzilla versus King Ghidorah movie where this like cyborg no this android runs through a road to catch up a car really really quickly like runs in the same way it's kind of funny how similar this is <laughs> is on par with your journalism. I figured I'd beat you to the island, but the guards had another idea, didn't they? Not really my best plan, huh? You think you've got me figured out, don't you? We journalists have to have some detective skills, you know. You're after a gemstone, and that stone has to be in the Ithaval group building. I'm headed there too. How odd. You seem to know where I'm going before I do. Yet you don't seem to know how to drive a car in a straight line. What am I? A chauffeur? Cheshire, do you have any idea what prolonged walking in this salty air will do to my hair? Well, I tend to use some product when I go to the beach. Take care of our pest problem. <sighs> Wonderful. I'm getting the distinct impression I'm not wanted on that island. But I love it when people play hard to get. These first two verses are really tricky to get uh, platinums on. In this first verse, um... Your platinum for combo is going to depend on how well you handle the applaud and ardor on top of this truck. What you want to do is lure one of them away by just provoking it and like attacking it towards you and dealing with it as well as you can and then fighting the other one. A stray wicked weave can knock them off of the top of the truck and if they land on the street then they die instantly and that means you can't get any more combo rankings from them. So as long as you can get a pretty good combo ranking against these first two, you probably don't really have to worry about your combo for the rest of this verse. But I'm sure as you can see, you're on a bunch of cars in a moving place. If you fall off the uh, cars and land on the road, you will take damage. I mean, you'll, you'll, Bayonetta will have a small cutscene where she jumps back on top of the uh, large truck that we we're on top of. But you will take a bit of damage. It can be really tough to get used to that. Uh, for all these other fights, if to make it a bit easier, uh, wait until they shoot their uh, trumpet bullets at you. Uh, they're easy to get uh, witch time from. And when it's witch time, everything's slowed down, it's easier. It makes the platforming a bit easier. Like, because of the way the cars move on the road, how they quickly twitch and everything, it can be very difficult to maintain your footing. And when you're trying to jump from car to car. 
and that could lead to a lot of frustrating restarts when you're trying to uh, maybe go for a no damage run. Like, see right here, I screw up because of the way, just the way the cars and everything move. But I mean, I kept this in because I still get a platinum rank for this verse. But that should just show that it's actually pretty tricky in order to try and maintain a no damage run to keep your uh, platforming consistent. I really can't think of any one good way to do it. Like, see what happened there, I attacked the bullet while I was in Witch Time and it went, flew back at him, and it smacked him off the car and it killed him. <laughs> Thankfully, I had a combo that was already platinum worthy, so it didn't become an issue. Now for this next first, however, you have to fight three joys in the middle of oncoming traffic. This can be incredibly frustrating to do. Like, say, before you only had to deal with just one, now you have to deal with three. And they will do things like use their whip attacks and their swords and all these different uh, abilities that they shoot at you and everything. What you want to stay is this part where I am now that's out of the way of the streets because no cars come by there. Yes, cars will drive fast and they will hit you. Depending on which part of the road you're on, they will come at you from different directions. Uh, they do not come at random, but they are constant. And this is the uh, infamous torture attack against the Joys. Very jiggly and bouncy. <laughs> yeah, if the Joys don't want to follow you and, like, pursue you over to that little, this little side road area, then it's going to be tough trying to getting them, getting a good combo ranking against them. I don't know if you can get Witch Time against the cars. I honestly forget, but it's generally really tough to do because the cars are quick, and if you're in the middle of trying to fight something and you see a car coming and there's nothing you can do to dodge it, you're going to end up getting hit, and you will take damage, and that's going to go against your ranking. This, like I said, this verse is very tricky to get a Platinum on because in order to keep yourself engaged with the enemies, you need to be in the middle of the road with them, but that's where all the cars are, and you can't always see where they're coming. It's very easy to get blindsided in this chapter, so I don't like dealing with it. I take a few hits here, I, I get a gold for this, uh, for this verse, but I accept it because it is just so irritating to try to get a platinum on this one. Now here we have a new enemy introduced just for this stage. Irenic, the Car Angel. And there is a quick time event right after it's introduced, so be sure to jump. <laughs> So this is a motorcycle stage, and I press the Y button to bring up the controls. The controls are simple, you speed up, slow down, left, right, you can dodge and fire your main guns as your basic attack. But right here, I switched over to footage. I did two recordings of this chapter. The first one I did because I wanted to collect the two only two collectible items in this chapter, which are two uh, Witch Heart pieces. If you take a look at my life bar right now, its maximum length is actually less than how it was from the first two verses. That's because I'm using footage right now from the first recording. The footage of the first two verses were from the second recording. The reason I did this is because I used to think it was impossible to get a platinum ranking for combo in the driving stages while going for the uh, collectibles, so I wanted to get them first and just show where they are once I got to the appropriate place, because there's multiple pathways in this chapter. But it turns out I was completely wrong. However, the reason why I'm showing you the uh, first like a uh, recording is because while I was doing the second recording, the uh, autosave screwed up and it made me skip like say a third, no no, about a fourth of the entire verse. So I missed some of the elements I need to talk about. I mean, the reason I'm using uh, this verse here is because I did end up getting a pure platinum for this stage while also getting the uh, uh, heart piece that's in this chapter. So, yeah, because the autosave screwed up during the recording that I was going to intend to use. See this bridge coming up? The autosave made me skip this bridge. Now, for these bridges, you could drive to the right and drive up those uh, ramp, those uh, railings, in order to bypass these guys. Or you could just drive forward and shoot these guys. The reason why I drive through them and I shoot them is because you need them in order to help build your combo. Like, the combo requirements for these verses are really, really, really lenient. But if you go to, like, say, the, like uh, these little shortcut areas... You're not going to find enough enemies to shoot in order to even reach that very lenient requirement. What you saw there, I dodged under this perpendicular a gas tanker truck. And I'm probably going to do it right there again. 
Uh, you can actually hit all the walls and all the cars that you want in these verses, and you will not take damage whatsoever, except for uh, the Irenic cars, and except for the attacks that um, enemies shoot at you. There are joys and uh, affinities that shoot trumpet bullets and a uh, laser grid. Uh, things at you. You can actually get Witch Time from the laser grids, even though I don't find it to be too useful. However, if a gas tanker truck is, like, a burnt out and perpendicular on the road, you have to dodge underneath it and in order to not take damage. Because even if you dodge and you hit the wheels, you will still take damage. And that will, of course, count against your ranking. So, you have to be careful of the gas tanker trucks, and you have to be careful of the Irenic enemies and the uh, affinities and the joys that are on the road. See, you can get a uh, witch time from the uh, joys uh, laser grid items. But yeah, you can hit as many cars and walls as you want. But coming up here, the second verse uh, of, see, sorry, the second bridge of verse 3. Verse 3 is about to end. Don't go on the bridge. Go and take the path to the right. Up on this railing is where you get the first of the two heart pieces. But this is one of the reasons why I don't like taking the railings. Watch right here. Ugh. See, if you had made a head-on collision with that car, you would die instantly. Yeah. So, and you always have to get back onto the right lane of traffic in order to uh, get into traffic that goes with you, and so that you won't have any head-on collisions causing instant deaths. Uh, right as that verse ended and you saw the ranking, now we're into the uh, footage that, that's from the uh, second recording because I was able to pure platinum this as well. Oof, yeah, that's a whole lot to cover on there. Like, I have no idea why my uh, recording screwed up um, for the uh, verse 3 on the second recording, but it did. <clears throat> like, um, when you're in these tunnels, all you have to do is just dodge underneath the uh, closing gates. Like, when you dodge, obviously, you do this um, motorcycle slide. But it's uh, So it's pretty easy to get through. And there's another gas tanker truck. You gotta dodge right underneath it. For the uh, crumbling building... Sorry, the crumbling road sections. Oh, yeah, right here. See, I pause the video. And I'm gonna cut over to the recording from the first recording. I go off the road here through those traffic cones to this side road. And on this side road is where the second heart piece is. And once I collect it, my life bar is gonna go up. Which is why, in the footage of the second recording, you can see that my life bar is totally longer than it is for these sections. There are no numerous parts during uh, this chapter where you can uh, go off of these side roads that are covered by traffic cones that all look the exact same. Uh, but I don't go on them because they take you away from enemies. And if you're taken away from enemies, you can't shoot any enemies. Here I transition back to the footage from the second recording. So... You can see my life bar is longer again, and I didn't, yeah, I didn't use the uh, footage from the first recording because I didn't, I got hit a bunch of times, actually, during that recording. See, while the uh, bridge is, re bridge is uh, collapsing and everything, you can hit the sides of the uh, walls as it's going up, and you're going to be perfectly fine. But yeah, I don't take the side roads that the uh, cones block because it takes me away from enemies. And I don't like going up the bridges because it takes me away from enemies as well. As puts me uh, on a side of a road that's dangerous to get back to safety on. Because if you take that, uh, like say that bridges, like side railings, that looping railings, you, you just risk, you know, getting a head-on collision and dying instantly. That's why I don't do it. So yeah, if you press up and down on the control stick, you can make a Bayonetta uh, motorcycle go faster or slower. There really generally aren't too many reasons to ever go much faster or slower. Like, if you go a bit faster, you might be able to clear those uh, collapsing roadways a bit easier. But it's really not all that necessary. And uh, despite the fact that overall this, these two verses don't take that long... I kind of think they're a bit annoying to get through because they get very repetitive. I'm sure you can see it by now. It seems like just repeating the same exact roads and ridges and uh, tunnels over and over again. Thankfully, it's just about over right here because you're going to have a somewhat unique set piece coming up. Uh, the road should be collapsed. Yeah, right here. The road's going to start collapsing and you're going to be forced to uh, go on for one of these like uh, side road kind of uh, assets. But... Uh, 
talk about the music a little bit. The uh, music from the uh, very first verse of the chapter was a remix of Splash Wave from Sega's famous game OutRun. And the music that's playing now during the motorcycle stages is from Afterburner. And when I brought up the controls at the, be at the uh, beginning of the motorcycle part, the word motorcycle was in the font styling of Sega's other classic arcade game, Hang On, which is a motorcycle arcade game. Honestly, I don't know why they didn't use music from any of the Hang On games for this section instead of the Afterburner theme. Afterburner, you fight in a fighter jet plane. Hang On... Sorry. Hang On is actually the motorcycle game. But yeah, in any case, I think the gameplay for this section is kind of repetitive. You have to press up a jump uh, right as you finish this verse, or else, yeah, you'll get another instant death. Like I said, it will always be up and jump, so... At the very least, the quick time events are always the same. And that is how you get pure platinum on both of those. I used to get very poor combo rankings whenever I took all the side roads. Holy crap! For fuck's sake, that's overdoing it! Right! Turn right! Get off the road! You don't want me here, but you really could have been more subtle about it. These enemies, called Braves, are just like mini, like faster versions of Beloveds. And here I'm going to use recordings from my, uh, footage of my first recording, which is why you see me get hit a lot. You do have to dodge pretty quickly after their cutscene ends, but they have a special attack that they do that I generally try to avoid. It's a special attack that they do if all three of them are still alive and you're not taking care of them quick enough. See, all they, they just like to swing their like axes around. They like to grab you with their hands and stomp on you if you're close enough. Their attacks are all like Beloveds. They're just smaller and faster. And in this verse, you're technically in a permanent witch time, so you can't get further witch time. That's what they do if you don't kill them quick enough. They go into this Super Sentai style, like, say, henshin combining form where they turn into just a bigger form of themselves. Some people may find this parts easier, because you only have to deal with one enemy instead of three, but he's just as fast and he's also still really powerful. But generally, if you're fast enough and you kill the uh, Braves quickly enough, they'll never combine into this, like, Great Brave, I think might be the name for this. But yeah, this is the attack that you want to av that I generally avoid, like, some people like to fight them because uh, they can get a higher combo ranking against them, but you don't really need to have them against a normal mode for a platinum ranking for this verse. But I'm just showing off what happens here if you don't kill anything quick enough and they start to combine. Now let's see what happens when I fight them seriously. When you start taking them out much quicker and everything, they are, um... Of course, they'll never combine into the, into the Great Grave and they're far more manageable. You can't get any torture attacks off against them, uh, sadly, and uh, you can't deal with any witch time for this verse. Thankfully, their moveset is pretty limited. They'll mostly do a whole bunch of these uh, horizontal swings with their little pike axe sort of things. But you see, that's how fast you can beat them, and you can avoid the Great Brave if you just keep the heat on them quickly enough. I just want to say, this cutscene is kind of weird, but what's happening is that when Bayonetta defeated them, she opened a portal to Paradiso, and that's exactly where the next chapter is going to start. So I'm sorry if I was a bit confusing during the commentary for this chapter, but like I said, my uh, second recording that I was going to use for my main footage got kind of uh, screwed up. Like, it screwed up like the autosave for the third, the third verse. I don't know how it happened, but it did. It made me skip like a third like some no sorry a quarter of the entire the entire verse so i hope you'll be able to understand and piece together what exactly it was i was trying to do for this chapter and i'll see you in the next chapter which is a more traditional chapter later